I'm with Brian Russell, Quality Control Manager for Pete Flanagan and Sons. We're here today on the site where they're doing some foam asphalt base projects. Brian, could you describe the process a little bit for me? Uh, the process what we have, Marshall, is 40% um, uh, asphalt millings combined with 60% recycled concrete. And we run that through the pug mill, adding 3% foam asphalt to it. We have an injection system on top of the pug mill that um, the, the liquid asphalt goes into the injection system, mixed with uh, cold water and it foams the asphalt. We've, we've actually processed the material. Um, the optimum moisture content of the material is around 7%. Um, as long as we maintain optimum moisture content, we can store it up to 30 days and place it. And we haven't had any problems placing it at that point. It's comparable to a 19 millimeter base asphalt. Um, we've seen uh, coefficient um, somewhere around between 0.27 and 0.33. Now, yeah, coefficients right. to 0.33. Yep. In a sunny, warm environment, you can uh, pave over top of it in 24 hours. Absolutely. We judge the uh, curing process by the color change of the material. When you put it down, it goes down as a darker, greener type material, and as it dries, it kind of grays up, and that's what we like to say it actually gotcha. cures. Gotcha. We're standing here beside a pile that was processed yesterday. This has 3% uh, asphalt in it. With the pug mill, we're actually able to monitor the moisture going into it to achieve optimum moisture as we're processing it. So we have water going in to foam the asphalt, and we have water going in for moisture content. Okay, this is an overview of the operating system. Uh, we have two cold feeds um, with weigh bridges on the cold feeds. Assure the correct blend. We inject, well, we send the asphalt up, which is metered uh, tons per hour up, and then we also send the water injection, the water into the injection system, which is measured in gallons per minute. Mix everything in the pug mill. It's a continuous mixed pug mill. Uh, and from that point, we dump it into the truck. And we can stockpile it or we can ship it directly to the job. This is your primary crusher up there. Yes. We have a Lipman gel crusher that takes the, the big chunks of concrete crushes them down to small but workable sizes. Magnet right there removes the rebar, sends the metalless product to the screen deck where it's sized. Any oversized material, which at this point is inch and a half, anything over an inch and a half goes to a haste mag uh, impactor. Uh, from the impactor goes back. The impactor feeds back onto this belt, which then closes the loop back to the screen deck repeats the cycle over again. concrete, 40% wrap, we make the new product, I can replace that as a nice environmentally friendly base. Excellent. Now we were looking at maybe doing something down there at the school as far as the parking lot goes in the driveway and you know all the way out to the state highway. Uh -huh. And that would probably be, that would save us some time and some money doing it that way. And you say it had what, eight inches of stone for it? Eight, I think it was eight and six. 
<clears throat> this will probably like I said, eliminate some of the excavation. Yeah. Put eight inches of roof down and then put two inches of uh, asphalt on top of it. What about as far as if you run into a bad slum grade? It's, uh, I mean, it's it's similar to a 19 millimeter base. I mean, you may have to undercut, you know, the subgrades real bad, but it'll uh, it'll definitely cut down your asphalt section. Okay. Well, I'm gonna take a look at that. Yeah. That's for sure. Absolutely. Thanks. Appreciate yeah. it. Bye. Right,